Guys, what is up? Back at you once again. It is ya boy, Chin, that freaking Mark. And there it was. We had ourselves the Go Home episode of Smackdown Live. But how was it in comparison to the Go Home episode of the Monday Night Raw? Let's just fucking sit here and talk about it. Well, alrighty then. So starting off this episode of SmackDown Live, we have the new and improved Kevin Owens show. His guests are going to be Randy Orton and AJ Styles. Basically brings them out so they can argue. And at one point in that argument, AJ Styles brings up how Orton was just like failing drug tests because Orton's like, yeah, I was in WWE. He's like, yeah, you were in WWE failing drug tests. Ha! That shit was fucking great. It led Randy Orton to say bitch. And then everyone, ooh, because, you know, that's a big deal when you say bitch. And then probably the best part of this entire segment, and personally, my favorite new, like, gimmick, if you could say that, of Kevin Owens, where he just, like, senses danger, so he's like, I'm out, <laughs> I'm gonna bounce real fast, and that's exactly what happened. He just got up, left the ring so they could brawl, everyone started popping, and then they brawled. Next up, we have Aleister Black and Ricochet and the Usos going up against Rusev, Shinsuke Nakamura, and The Bar. First things first. What the fuck, WWE? Did you add, like, a creaky noise in Aleister Black's entrance for when he pops up? Man, that shit's fucking weird. Get that out of there right now. The point of this match, though, and the sole moral of it, was kicks. Kicks to fucking everything. Everything got kicks. This match ended with Rusev eating two of them, in fact. Alexa Bliss shows up because she just has authority anymore because she's the Wrestlemania host and she's just like hell yeah Usos were you just flaked on a mash last week and that's pretty bunk I can't let you get away with that so all the teams that you just faced right now you're also gonna face at the Mania so next up we have The Miz versus Sanity prior to the match Miz comes out and he's cutting a promo that's all heartfelt and is also just a plug for Miz and Mrs talking about how great his family is Shane comes out just to be a dick remind him that his dad has a fucking potato face things to that extent and we're having the match Miz versus Sanity and Miz is completely holding his own and Shane doesn't like that so Shane comes back out and he's like oh I forgot to tell you similar to our match at Wrestlemania this is a false count anywhere so fucking eat that whore Miz ate it and completely digested it because that did not stop him at all from kicking ass and he went as far as to like ram Eric Rowan's head with a fucking container in the backstage area and he won himself that match. Conveniently, Shane was just like in the back ready to leave in his limo, just like <laughs> And then yeah, he bounced. Becky Lynch shows up getting dropped off by the cops because apparently that's a service they offer now. And yeah, she just shows up so she can cut a promo. But I'm going to let the, the little undercarriage here talk more about that. Next up, we have the biggest mixed person match in the history of WWE. It is going to be an 18 person mixed tag match. Holy fuck. And you know what we get right off the bat in this match? Yeah. Lacey Evans, you're basically going to get a dick move anytime you continue to do this. Knock it the fuck off. Put her in a match. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this happening and just throwing things off. We get a dance break that didn't last too long, and it actually led to the entire match getting thrown out because everyone just comes in and starts wrestling and graps in and everything like that. And it just turns into a classic, these are going to be all the people in the Battle Royale matches. So they're, they're throwing everyone over the top ropes. And it got down to Asuka and Jeff Hardy. And then Asuka threw Jeff Hardy over the top rope as well. Because nobody is ready for Asuka. Not sure if you've heard. Next up, Samoa Joe versus Mustafa Ali. I refuse to call him just Ali. That shit is dumb as fuck. Basically, the main highlights of this match was Ali missing <laughs> and then I just called him Ali. Missing that 450 splash. And that just led into an angry coquina clutch by Samoa Joe. Because you should never turn your back to him. Because that is exactly what he's going to do. And thus he did that. And then our main event for the night is a kind of segment that I generally don't really like. It's a contract signing. But this was just such a fucking heartfelt deal from Kofi Kingston that I'd say it wasn't too terribly shabby at all. You know, but prior to that shabbiness or not too shabbiness, Daniel Bryan and Rowan McMetal shirts have to come out just fucking being heels, talking dick shit and stuff like that. And then from there on out, it's basically just Kofi chants. 
as Daniel Bryan's tried to say something, and the crowd just does not let that happen at all. He just goes on, being a dick, being a dick, being a dick, this Daniel Bryan, and Kofi has had enough of it. He just grabs that contract and starts talking about how, you know what, he's never been a whiny little bitch like Daniel Bryan, and he's going to prove that he's not a whiny bitch like that, and then he's going to take his title at WrestleMania. Signs that shit, and everyone gets super fucking pumped about it. Kofi Mania chance. Co fi rocks. Kofi. I think that was all the Kofi chance. Yeah, we got a lot of Kofi chance tonight, but that was this here go home episode of SmackDown Live. Guys, you know what time it is. If you've ever here watched one of these nut bustings, we're whipping out that their grading scale, alright? Was it was it shat? Was it crap graps? Was it right dead in the middle? Was it dece? Was it <laughs> not too shabby? Or were those graps happening? You know, it's, it's kind of hard to say because there was some good segments in here. Um, mostly The Miz just completely holding his own. Um, Becky Lynch cutting a promo was, you know, super quick. It's not like it really amounted to anything. And obviously everyone is super fucking stoked for Kofi Kingston. Um, all in all, you know, it didn't end as fucking weirdly as Raw did last night putting their best segment somewhere in the middle of the show. That was so weird of them to do. So I'm going to say not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right? It wasn't too shabby. All right, guys. There you go. If you haven't already, go and check out those there WrestleMania predictions. We got the totally legit championship on the line as per usual. But until WrestleMania, maybe TakeOver. Still trying to get that one figured out. It has been your biggity boy, Chin, that freaking mom here talking about the smacketh of the downs and yeah Wrestlemania Wrestlemania the graps the graps deuces 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 deuces